Hi there, I'm out in my garden and this is our first worm tower, the hide and seek worm tower. And I found that I was just accumulating a little bit too much of our food scraps in the freezer. And so I thought, well, I'll get rid of it in our worm towers, which is one of the really good, um, they're like a, 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 a buffer or a reservoir of places that you can add more food scraps. So you can see that I've been doing some garden pruning and putting scraps of that in there. These are the leaves that we put in last time. Do we have worms in here? Well, I know we have worms in here, but are they up near the top today? Let's take another look. There's a little slug, which I'm not gonna go after right now. You put leaves, you get slugs. Let's look for worms. Come on. Where are you wormies today? It's a blustery, oh, I see movement. It's a blustery day. Not seeing a lot of worms, but there's some. Oh. There's some worms there in the garden tower. There they are. So I found their favorite hidey hole. So you know, by putting food scraps on top of these stems that I pruned out of the garden, that's probably a good thing too. So I was going to add some more leaf matter in there, but this tower actually is looking pretty full. I think I'll save it for the next tower. I'll just add, for carbon, I'll just add a fast food um, clean napkin that we didn't use and I'll see if I can empty some of this food but not all of it there we go so there's some of the food but not all of it for the worms mix it in we'll leave that be and come back in a few days see whether they get rid of it. like I said I just had some extra some extra food scraps in my freezer and I thought I gotta get rid of some of these and the worm towers seemed like the place to do it so there we go that's as easy as it is with a worm tower folks no major fluffing required and quite an ability to go through the extra food that you may have laying around all right bye for now